Good morning, Creekside. Please be seated for just a few minutes. My name is Alessia Williams, um, and in just a moment, I'll be reading our scripture passage. But if you've been attending the last several months, we've had the opportunity to hear people read scripture in different languages. And I know I've really enjoyed and appreciated it, being an immigrant myself. And I think it's been to the benefit of all of us because it widens our scope and lifts our eyes to what the Bible and the gospel is all about, that Jesus came for all mankind and all of history, and that, um, yeah, not just in our little corner here in Gainesville, but for all people all around the world. So it's just wonderful to hear different languages and be reminded that um, people all around the world um, need salvation, but also have come to trust Christ. So I've loved hearing that. So when John Luca a few weeks ago asked if I would be willing to read scripture sometime in my native tongue, I joyfully said yes. And then he emailed me Monday and asked if we could do it this Sunday. I was excited about it. But as the week went on, my excitement slowly, quickly dissipated because, as many of you know, my native tongue is Russian. And as confusion, difficulty, and really just shock settled in about everything, about what was going on, the truth is, in actuality, I'm only half Russian, and I'm half Ukrainian. So it's been a very um, difficult and confusing time, as I have family still there on both sides of the conflict. I have family members, cousins, um, their spouses, their kids in Ukraine, and thankfully, they're all physically safe though impacted in different ways depending on where they live in Ukraine. And as I was thinking and processing and praying about this Sunday, about reading in Russian, um, to be completely honest, I thought about not doing it and then talked to Steve and Gianluca and others um, about reading in Ukrainian. I'm not as fluent, but I'm still familiar with the language. And so I've decided to actually, since it's a shorter passage, to read in both languages as a reminder that Christ came for everyone, that none of us is deserving, and that when he died, he died for friend and foe, for oppressor and victim, and for each of us before, while we were still sinners. So today, we're going to read um, the passage that Mike will be speaking on in Exodus chapter 20. I'll start with Ukrainian and then we'll repeat it again in Russian. So if you're able, please stand. The slides will be in English for you to follow along in. Памятай день субботний, щоб святити його. Шість день праця і роби всю працю свою. А день сьомий субота для Господа, Бога твого. Не робиш одної праці, ти і син твій, і дочка твоя. Раб твій, не нівіця твоя, і ходоба твоя, і приходька твій, що в брамах твоїх. Бо шість дней творив Господь неба та землю, море та все, що в них. А дня сомого спочив тому, благословив Господь день суботний, і освятив його. And now in Russian, Ісход 20 глава. Помни день субботний і храни його святим. Шесть днів трудився і делав всю свою роботу. Но седьмой день – це субота Господу, твоєму Богу. Не делай в цей день ніякої роботи, ні ти, ні твій син або дочь, ні слуга або служанка, ні твій скот, ні чужеземець в твоїх городах. За шесть дней Господь сотворил небеса и землю, море и все, что в них, а на седьмой отдыхал. Поэтому Господь благословил субботный день и осветил его. This is the word of the Lord. 